Hello and welcome to spring. <laughs> it's finally arrived. Well, it has for us. Um, it's just nice to have a couple of dry days. So I didn't know where to start. This is going to be a catch up, so sort of quick garden tour. And I didn't know where to start. And what I think I'm going to start off is this, this bank, because this, this time last year, most of this stuff was still in pots and I was still making those raised beds. And this actually had a wall coming down it. So I thought I'd start off here, because I'm really pleased with the way it's turned out. Um, we got the Tissington Veronica White. And we've got the forget-me-nots. Then the mascara is just going at the moment. But that's going to get replaced by the bluebells. So like I say, I'm really pleased with it. It's really filled out at the moment. Everything's loving. Uh, growing in this bark and we've got lupins still to come out after that and the agapanthus and the marshmallow astranthia hopefully I'll correct that if I've got that wrong so here's a clip of this <laughs> this area in October 20 <laughs> now don't judge but this is what it was like before uh, I hard I changed it right so on that raised bed at the moment we've got the spinach the kale and the leeks which we harvested this week so that's why I've just cut down the leaves and then on these three raised beds we've got the early strawberries, Christine, um, Sweetheart, and then Cambridge Favourites. And three beds of the broad beans. Now these broad beans were potted on or planted up at the start of April. <laughs> and they've grown about an inch in that time. It's just been a miserable <laughs> March and April. Right, and what we'll show you is the um, we're getting our first strawberries this is my favorite view in the garden what you can see here is the blueberry bushes they're all flowering now and it won't be long for the wisteria to start flowering it's quite well budded up at the moment there's going to be a fair amount at the end here right so these are the Oscar early dwarf peas we should put some um, supports in for them they only get to two foot um, so we see how they go and then we've got the sulfur and strawberries two beds of those and then onto the Karina peas as well coming around slowly this um, wall bank bed <laughs> it's all banks <laughs> uh, that needs tidying up all I've done is just done the the end bit so what I'll show you now is the the other bank over there and I'll forget me nots on at the moment and they're really bushed out and so is the fever few and um, you can see it here and underneath the the bench and that's just about to um, pop out now and that's all self-sewing Quite a lot of, the, of this is self-sewing. I mean, the, the hellebores, I do need to 
cut those down and um, before they start sowing their seed just end up with a lot more what we do have is the uh, the white bluebells already coming out with the forget-me-nots that's really nice and dandelions in the background <laughs> and then you can see the house uh, tomatoes in the window and then we come to this first vertical bed I mean it looks a mess at the moment but what it is is that's a um, nursery bed for all these self-seeded um, foxgloves so what I'm going to do is clear that out and I like to um, put them up against the stones or the wall I think they look quite good there so I'm just going to fill in all the gaps and I've got some areas in the front garden to uh, fill in as well yeah the, the mini greenhouse is nearly there I haven't finished that off yet right so in the far bed I have sown some of the part, new parsnips um, but we still have some of the parsnips from last year still to harvest and then in this bed we've got the red flow onions and a lot of spinach down the sides on the back is the red acre cabbage and the front is kohlrabi and cauliflower snowball now these are all been overwintering so I don't know whether they'll actually come to anything but I have got more seeds in the greenhouse and then in this bed we've got the red onions um, three rows of radishes the white icicle Chinese rose and French breakfast and then we've got three rows of carrots as well which haven't come up yet right and this is a mixture of a bed and um, we've got kale the spring onions multi sowing onions, um, chard, beetroot, lettuce and winter radishes and <laughs> I haven't yet finished this um, mini greenhouse, um, the, all the doors need to be hanged, all these will be taken off but I finished it, or well, got to this stage about 10 o'clock um, a couple of nights back <laughs> so I just need to make sure it's waterproof and uh, so I just put these on at the moment they're uh, just temporary and I'll get round to this hopefully tomorrow right so that just leaves the, the greenhouse and everything's grown all right in here over the last couple of months whereas it's been really slow outside everything has flourished under the, the warmth in here so the potatoes are doing really well um, they were done mid-February so so only a couple more weeks and then technically I could harvest a few um, but we'll see how we go with that I may leave them um, until they start to die back or I need the space and the strawberries the sweethearts are doing really well the, the Christine which are supposed to be the early ones they haven't got any flowers on but the sweetheart are doing really well so what i'll do is i'll do a quick um whiz round with the camera in here now so these are the the ratty potatoes they're doing really well and so are the charlottes on that side we've got the strawberries and various brassicas and like i say the the sweetheart are doing really well, got plenty of strawberries off those at the moment. And these are the early tomatoes. At the front here is the Latar and then at the back is the Grushovka. And this Latar is got its second lot of flowers. Just about to come out, or hopefully come out. It's about time I think it's just starting to show the roots so it's time to
put them into the final pots now. What I'll do now is I'll just show you the house tomatoes as well. Right, so these are the house dwarf tomatoes. And they're just starting to form some flowers. They're all looking pretty healthy. And it's been nice to uh, give a few of these away. Right, and these are the tough ball onions. I still need to go into the first vertical bed. And these are the peppers, which need to be potted on now. The cut and come again salus doing all right, and I've got plenty of rocket to go into the kitchen bed. And so are the the figs. They're doing all right. I'm getting a couple on there. So really pleased with those, how they're coming on. Now the sweet peas, which I may put out now. We had a frost this morning, but I think that could be the last one for a while, so I may put those out soon. And just more pea shoots and coriander. Right, well I hope you enjoyed the uh, first garden tour. Um, Spring has finally arrived and it's, uh, it's nice to see all the forget-me-nots and various different bits of colour coming back into the garden with the flowers. So, like I say, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you again.